Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at how we can show the seconds of time in the timeline in Premiere Pro. So we're just here in the kind of um, the, the starting options for when you're opening a project and then if we hit new project and then I'll just select this clip here and we'll go to create or might just I'll just call it test clip. Hit create. And then you can see it starts up um, Premiere Pro and it will pull this clip into here. My hard drive's just been a little bit slow. There you go. So it's pulled this into here. And then what we've got up at the top is maybe not really what you want there. So you can see it's kind of doing it. It's got the frame numbers up there. But what we actually really want is the, the time. So if we right click on this clip, we can quickly see that the clip is under the properties for it you can see the clip is two seconds long so what we can do if we come down into here onto the timeline right click here and then you can see we've got this option here we've got the timer ruler numbers which you can remove or you can keep but what you really want to do is show the audio time unit so if you click on that you can see it changes it and now we've got this in seconds and minutes so where the clip was just over two seconds we can actually see that here now so if you're trying to do you know something where you need to stick to a time somebody wants a video that can't be more than two minutes long or a good example you're doing youtube shorts or something like that it needs to be under 30 seconds now you can actually see that in the timeline whereas you kind of couldn't before and there are a couple of other options here, so it might be that um, you can't show them there. Um, if you're having issues with it, that there are other um, options here. So you've got like the time ruler numbers, which you may just find there's nothing there. And if that's the case, you've probably got the time ruler numbers switched off there. So if you kind of switch that back on, then it will go back to that. And um, you can always, you can switch off the, the time units as well. If you want to switch back into that, it's not sort of, you know, it's, it's not going to stay like that forever. You've not lost anything in the timeline. It's just the way it's displaying it. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, give the video a like. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you want to see more Premiere Pro tutorials, check out the playlist on this channel and please subscribe.